In this video I will talk about cost of living in Ecuador. Welcome to How to Expat. My name is Sam and I'm an expat in Colombia. Our mission here is to help expats or soon to be expats to start their journey, avoid gringo prices and settle down hassle free. So one of the most important things when you plan to relocate is cost of living in the country you want to go to. So Ecuador is one of the countries with the lowest cost of living where you can live a first world lifestyle. So this is what makes Ecuador one of the most attractive countries to go to and especially a lot of retirees are interested in Ecuador especially because of the low cost of living. So Ecuador has pretty much two sides to it. One is the, the Andes region with the most famous cities, especially for expats, Quito, Cuenca and Loja. And there's also the, the whole coast region around Manta to Salinas, where a lot of expats will uh, live the beach lifestyle. These places can really differ, especially from a cost of living standpoint, especially the coast is around 20 to 30% cheaper than the cost of living in the Andes, like Quito, Cuenca and Loja. So in this video I will go through the costs of living in the coast and in the Andes, of accommodation, utilities, food, groceries, medical, transport, cell phone, insurance and other expenses you might have. And then at the end we will uh, go through uh, with a quick summary so you see exactly what you can expect to spend in Ecuador. Also the costs I will talk about is for a couple, so if you're two people and want to live a more or less developed world lifestyle. If you're a solo person that goes or wants to go to Ecuador, just take the costs at the end and divide them or subtract them with 30%. That's more or less the cost of living you will have as a solo person. And just to be completely transparent here, I never actually lived in Ecuador. So the numbers you will see here are from my experience while traveling there uh, many months or uh, from research I've done in the internet. So this video should really give you the opportunity to sit back and watch this video instead of going through the hassle to search the internet because I found it's quite difficult to find really good information uh, in the web around cost of living in Ecuador. So we start with accommodation. Accommodation in Ecuador is really, really cheap. So you can get a, an unfurnished apartment, two or three bedrooms for even around 450 to around 700, 800 uh, US dollar a month. And this would be in more or less the city center, really one of the best areas you can, you can have. Uh, of course you can have a 150 US dollar apartment per month but this will be in a not so in a like in a shabby neighborhood and yeah like for the expats this will be probably the cost you will spend and if you want to rent a house a little bit outside of the big cities or especially on the coast because on the coast uh, people tend to buy houses rather to to rent an apartment if you want to rent a house first on the coast it will probably be the the same cost uh, than you would have with renting an apartment in a big city. So utilities also are very very cheap so with utilities I mean gas, electricity and water and internet phone service and like direct TV or something like that will set you back around 100 US dollars per month. Uh, if you're on the coast you will probably use the air conditioning a little bit more so just add like 20 or 30 bucks to that monthly bill and this is probably the cost you will have uh, on the coast. Then food, food is really inexpensive in Ecuador. You can go out and have a really good dinner uh, with uh, maybe a glass of wine or a beer or whatever for like 10 to 15 US dollar per meal. Uh, in the coast it's, it's, really, it's really incredible, it's really inexpensive. So our record was having uh, lunch for two people, so per person $2.50, uh, $2.50 for fish and rice, so fresh fish uh, with a soup and uh, also a juice, so for $2.50. So this is really inexpensive, I, I didn't believe when, uh, when we were there. But usually what you can expect to spend is around $5 to $10 for a really good meal in an oceanfront restaurant. And groceries also are very inexpensive. Uh, probably this will set you back around three to four hundred US dollars in the Andes. And 
on the coast because there are so many fresh fruits that uh, grow there directly and the fact that you can go to an open air market which uh, where the prices are very very cheap so in, on the coast groceries will be probably a little bit cheaper so around 200 US dollars per month the medical uh, if you are uh, a person that likes to go to the doctor uh, more often Ecuador is really the place for you to go medical means uh, the cost of doctors I will put them like this uh, like a general doctor will cost around 20 US dollars a visit and a specialist, specialist around 40 US dollars a visit if you have a surgery or anything like that if you're not covered by an insurance it's really like it's it can be half or like 20% of the cost you would have in the US or in Europe and transport if you're on the coast you probably want to have your own car but first hear what you do when you're in a bigger city in the Andes so taxis or uber there are really inexpensive as well so a taxi ride through town will cost around three to five six seven dollars something like that um, and if you have your own car on the coast you probably want to have that uh, to get groceries and all kind of stuff because yeah on the coast there are not too many big cities and this will set you back around 100, 150 US dollars uh, per month for maintenance and gas. And especially on the coast, I was very surprised there are great buses there. And if you want to travel like one hour, two hours, this will cost around two to maybe four US dollars. So this is really inexpensive on a very, very comfortable bus. Uh, yeah, this, the coast there, transport wise, with the buses is a really, really good option. And quickly, what will cost the cell phone plan? So most expats will choose the pay-as-you-go or a prepaid option. And to have uh, some data, like one gigabyte of data and some calls and some messages, this will probably uh, cost around 10 to 15 bucks uh, monthly. So yeah, really inexpensive again. So of course Ecuador has uh, like many Latin American countries, uh, especially around Colombia, so like Panama, Colombia, Ecuador, very good uh, health insurance system. The most will be insured with IESS, with IESS insurance. They have a lot of uh, hospitals around the country as well. And this will probably set you back, of course, it depends your age and, and many other specifics, but this will probably cost you around 60 to 100 US dollars a month. And other costs that you might have, of course, vary uh, from person to person, but here's some examples like going out to the movies or um, uh, doing other stuff in your free time um, will be around, so like uh, to go into the movies will be around five US dollars. And yeah, don't really plan on spending too much because if you're on the coast, going to the beach is free. If you're in a bigger city, of course, maybe, yeah, movies, but you have uh, a lot of nature around, which is practically free again. So really don't, spend, don't plan to spend too much on, on uh, other activities, on entertainment uh, or on stuff like that. And clothes and all that stuff is really, really inexpensive. Like a t-shirt maybe will cost five to ten dollars, a pair of jeans maybe twenty, thirty dollars. Uh, yeah, this is really, really inexpensive. So to get that straight for you guys out there, so you get a little overview, I will do a summary here. Uh, 550 for rent, 100 for utilities, 200 uh, US dollars per month for eating out. So this will be 10 bucks a person, 10 times a month for two people. Then 350 for, for groceries, then 50 US dollars for one doctor visit per month per person. Then 100 for transport if you either use taxis more or less on a daily basis or if you have your own car on the coast. Then 30 bucks for a cell phone, so 15 US dollars times two. Then 100 US dollars insurance per month and 100 uh, US dollars for going to the movies, uh, and buying stuff, something like that. And this will be a total cost of living per month of 1580 US dollars a month. This will really be on the upper level on cost, cost of living. Like I've read or seen people that live for 500, 600 US dollars for a whole family in their own, own home. Of course, they don't pay rent there anymore. But yes, like 500, 600 uh, US dollars is pretty, uh, it can be manageable if you, uh, if you live on the cheap. 
and really spend more than I would say 2,500 US dollars as a couple will be really really hard to, to, to manage in Ecuador because yeah stuff is so so inexpensive in Ecuador which makes it a really attractive option for a, especially a retirement haven so if you currently live in Ecuador or know somebody it would interest me what your cost of living is uh, in Ecuador and if you have any other questions about Ecuador or expat lifestyle in general, leave them in the comments below. We will be happy to help. And if you like the video and want to see more videos like that, don't forget to like and subscribe.